Hey guys, it's Carrie. How's everybody doing? Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you guys so much for coming back. Man, it has already been a week, right? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it's already hot here in southern Louisiana where I am. But, you know, such is every summer. And I've lived here, you know, a long, long, long time. So, nothing new about that. I'm going to jump right into this Thrifty Thursday. But I first want to say thank you for Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming for uh, coming up with this hashtag. If you want to join in, it's an open collaboration. She welcomes everybody. And I would encourage you to go catch her channel. She is so lovely. Um, and I'm going to put her information in the description. I'm kind of bad. I don't know if you guys have seen this before or noticed this about me, but I'm really kind of a bad YouTube host. And I don't mean to be. I never remember to welcome people and, you know, do all the things that you're supposed to do. So forgive me for that, but I'm going to get better. I promise. I'm trying so hard to get better about that. But I do want to, I really seriously want to thank Sherry. This is like one of the most fun collabs. It's the only one I'm doing right now, but I am absolutely loving it. Anyway, let's jump right in. I found some really cute stuff this, this uh, last go around at the thrift stores. So this was one, um, just some die cuts and, but look how cute. Per it's already a built-in tag, but look, the little airplane guy. He's so cute. I did not pay $4.99 for that either. Believe me, I would not have done that. These were Teaching Tree from the Dollar Tree. I didn't get them at the Dollar Tree. They were at the thrift store, but I have not seen these at the Dollar Tree. And they're all different colors. Let me see. I wanted to open them up real quick. Let's see how many different colors we have. Oh, yeah, these are, oh, there's two of each. Oh, look at the purple. Yellow and green. Those are so cute. I love those. Now, check this out, guys. A tea towel. Uh, brand new. Tag still on it. Mud pie. Probably some little boutique around town somewhere. No stains on it. Never been used. And it is actually embroidered. And uh, if you don't know, I do love the fleur -de -lis. So I love this. This was, a, this was a very good find for me. Won't get into this quite yet. Let me, let me do these first. Adorable. They're little pins, but I thought I could use them in a junk journal or on a, a fabric tag or something in the right application, right? I just love the little cassettes, and they're all sparkly. I really like those. This Rand McNally. I think what I'm going to do with this, I may, I may do a craft with me, but I may turn this into a notebook. I loved it. Johnny's Secret, and of course, it's Johnny Appleseed, but I loved it. Look at this, Kmart. Kmart's been out of business here for a long time. This actually is a 1975 from the Roman numerals. Of course, I had to do it in the, <laughs> the converter, because believe you me, I can't. I can't do that in my head, but uh, just uh, a cute, you know, Rand McNally books. Just cute. Look at the apples. Aren't this beautiful? This this would be wonderful ephemera. Yeah, but I do. I think I'm going. I think I think I'm going to make this into like a little notebook that I can bring with me to my desk and stuff. So I might I might do a craft with me on that. Uh, and Miss Meg at Chasing Retro, if you're looking, if you're watching, guess what I found? A Baptist hymnal. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this about Southern, Southern Louisiana, but they're primarily Catholic. It's a very, very heavy populated area of Catholics. Um, not to say there's not Baptists here. There certainly are Baptists here, but I kept seeing Meg get these Baptist hymnals and I was like, they, there was something about the fonts of them. I was just really drawn to them, but look, even the sides of the pages are this, that reddish color. 
like the book. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness, I was so excited. I was super excited about this. So yes, um, my friend at Chasing Retro, if you, if you don't watch her, please go out and check out her channel. She just seems so lovely. Um, and her journals, y'all, just she does a wonderful job. Now, I also want to mention, I'm going to take a, a minute to mention this. I don't know if you guys got to see my vision board, my monthly vision board video. So I had this thought after watching a, a YouTube creator, um, and I, you have to go check out the video. I may link it. I may go ahead and link it uh, so it pops up at the end of this one. But anyway, one of the things that I wanted to do in the month of June was look for uh, YouTube channels that were newer and had not it had less than 500 subscribers. That was kind of my idea. And the reason I wanted to do that is because, not that I don't love all the big creators. I love, I, I do. Gail Augustinelli, I talk about her all the time. Rebecca Hoot, Corey Dahman, Shabby Dabby Doodah, all of these folks. Miss E, all, they're fabulous. And they have huge followings. But I wanted to go out because because I am a beginner, I wanted to go and watch other beginners' channels just to get their perspectives too. But I also, for my June uh, vision board, I wrote down, one of the things that I wrote down was to help promote and encourage other smaller or newer YouTube channels. So I thought to myself, self, at least, you know, not only go out and find the channels, like their videos, interact with them, and even subscribe, but do a shout out from your channel. So I did that in my community tab this morning. I found a channel, and when I tell you this lady does beautiful journals, and I think this morning when I looked, I think she had um, seven subbies maybe, maybe seven subbies. And I am going to look for her name right now. I thought I had it written down in my book here. Tell me I don't. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to find my note, guys. Jody Langford is her name. Um, I am actually going to put her information in my description below. And I'll ask you guys to go check her channel out. Like I said, I did a post in my community tab. So if you saw that in your YouTube feed, thank you so much, you know, for even taking the time. If you haven't, I'll have her information in my description. I, she, it, it really is amazing. I, I think she had four or five videos out. So she's she's pretty new. April, I think she learned. Anyway, I just wanted to take the time to encourage others because I, I know I know what it's like to be a beginner. And this whole world is certainly nothing that I would have dreamed that I would be doing. So I thought, you know, let let's encourage each other because so many of you have encouraged me. And I want to I want to be that same way. I want to grow up <laughs> <laughs> whenever I grow up and become a big junk journaler, uh, no, uh, I do. I want to, I want to pay it forward. And that's one way that I think that I can do that. So be on the lookout for that about once a month, maybe more. I'm going to put out, I, I was going to do it once a week, but I don't want to commit to that. I do want to say that I'll commit to once a month and maybe more. Uh, I'll find channels. And if, if I think they're interesting and, and all that, I'm, I'm going to share that with you guys. So there's that. Now, uh, if you saw, if you, do you guys get to see my shorts? I hope they're come, popping up on your feed because I am having a ton of fun with those shorts, okay? Those YouTube shorts. I should clarify that. I never clarify that. I always say shorts. I don't mean like my uh, clothing shorts. I mean YouTube shorts. I hope you're getting to see them because I am having a lot of fun. Um, the last one that I did... <laughs> was about all the material that I have. And I have a lot. 
because I have an illness. And I already told you guys, you are my support group. But today, even though I told myself last week that I could not buy any more material, I came across some that I just, I couldn't. I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> so I got some more material, guys. <laughs> but it's not a lot. But look how beautiful. These are going to make beautiful page flips, aren't they? Look at this. I am in love with this piece of fabric. This could actually be a journal cover, too. Anywho, now I did not have anything this color. And at first, whenever I was in the store, I thought it was brown. But now that I'm out here, I mean, I guess it's still brown. It, but maybe it's like more maroon. Anyway, I didn't have anything like it, and I loved it. Then I came across this. Look how beautiful. Look how gorgeous. Right? Now this, I'm going to do something with it. <laughs> I say that about all my material, though. I'm going to do something with this. <laughs> I will eventually. Uh, these I just got just because, look, how cute. These are going to be great. I am going to do page flips. And as a matter of fact, uh, I'm trying to think, <laughs> speaking of YouTube shorts, I'm trying to think of my next song to do uh, a bunch of page flips too, because that's what I want to, that's, uh, that's my next project is page flips. Because look at all this stack. Look at this coordinating stuff. Isn't this going to be lovely? And, sorry guys, it goes on and on and on. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm not finished yet. Hold on. <laughs> not quite finished yet, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Look at this, huh? Wait, I'm not done. Oh my gosh, look at those two. With some, le oh my goodness. Yeah. And that is the last one. This, this whole stack of material. What's that? Oh, and the tea towel. I got these at the same shop, the same thrift store. All of this was $3. So, I mean, really, I couldn't pass that up. And they're lovely. So, I wanted to pull this and show you guys because I think this is absolutely beautiful. You know, I have some little gold, some big little golden books. And they're about this size. So, this is another um, potential book that I could do this size. I'm just still trying to wrap my mind around it and I need to do, I need to watch some more YouTube videos on how to do this and what to put in it and how to put it in there and you know all the stuff that we go through. But I thought this was lovely because it does have this canvas or linen type um, corners inside already but inside it came with, now it says it had cards, but it didn't, the cards were not in here, but it came with some prints already, right? And look at these. I think these are 11, 10 by 13 or something like that. Aren't these lovely? I have this in a, in a card, in a little card. This Van Gogh is in a card. I love these. You, I could, I have this one too. Uh, I could frame, they easily frame these and hang them. You know? Cut them down and use them in a journal. This one is lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Um, yeah. So, just wanted to show you that. $1.99 for this whole, for this whole thing. You know? And, um, Hopefully, I'll get to do something with the actual book. And then the this is going to be a short haul today, but the last. Yeah, on these, you actually, you know, it's like you have a matte finish on the back. A little semi-gloss, I guess, on the front. But I love that the background is, is plain. 
And then if you wanted, you could fussy cut some of the images out if they, you know, if it's something you wanted to use. I just really, I like these. They have the, the signals. I saw these. They just look different for some reason. I don't know what year these were. I didn't even look, guys. I don't know. Oh, see, 97. They're not old. I mean, you know, old, but not not old, old. Anyway, um, I hope everybody's had a good week so far, and I hope the rest of your week is just as lovely, if not lovelier. And as I always say, um, I hope that whatever it is you get to do this week, that part, at least part of it, you have fun doing it. Okay, guys, we will chat soon. Be on the lookout for more, sh more YouTube shorts from the Paper Monkey, uh, and we'll chat soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.